Welcome to the Pyramid Insider, I'm Tyler Patner, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Benjamin Bulldog in 457. So the Bulldog in 457 comes to us straight fresh from SHOT Show 2022. And really, you could see the writing on the wall for Benjamin and Crossman. You know, they wanted to get a bigger bore gun in there. That 35 cal 357 Bulldog was always a great gun for them, but needing to go bigger, kind of keeping up with the rest of the market. So we're going to run down the features, take it out to the range, put it over the chronograph, do everything that we normally do, and see if this Bulldog 457 is one that you need to have in your hunting arsenal. Now starting at the front of the 457 Bulldog, we have a threaded muzzle. Now this is an M18 thread, so obviously you gotta go bigger because you have that larger bore on the gun. So if you wanna thread on a Donnie FL or something like that, you certainly can. Dropping back just a little bit, we have a slightly longer air cylinder. This is 440 cc's compared to the 340 cc's we see on the 357. Now moving on back, you'll notice we do have our front sling swivel stud here. There is one in the back of the gun as well. Now we don't have a pick any rail on this one, which is a little disappointing for me personally, because obviously it's nice and easy to add a bipod there, but not a huge deal. You can, if you want to, mount an over-the-top mounted rail bipod uh, onto the Picatinny rail up here. And speaking of this Picatinny rail up top, you have 26 inches of pick rail here to work with. So whether you want to add a sc smaller scope than this and maybe go with some other accessories, lights, lasers, whatever you think you need out in the field, you have the ability to mount it here, which is awesome. Now dropping down, we do have your traditional pistol grip here. You also have the same two-stage trigger, which is real solid, right around three, three and a half pounds or so, and the same manual safety that's very easy to operate, nice and conveniently located. Working our way back, you do have your pressure gauge here. This gun fills to 3,000 PSI, which I like a lot. For those of you that are hand pumping or maybe working off a tank and you don't have a compressor or a shop local to you that can fill your tank, you're gonna get a lot of fills on this guy. Uh, and I like that 3,000 PSI fill pressure quite a bit as we see the rest of the industry kind of go higher than that. So this is a nice little feature in my opinion that they've been able to keep that 3,000 PSI pressure. Now working our way back just a hair further is the side lever. What I will tell you guys about this gun from an operational perspective, this has a heavier hammer spring in it. That's how they got more power out of it, part of the reason anyway. Uh, so when you're operating this from your shoulder, it is a little bit difficult to cock that back every time, but it's not unbearable. This is very doable, but just a little bit awkward. So something to keep in mind there, you may have to take the gun out of your shoulder to cock it. Now, as we work to the breech of this gun, a little bit of a departure from the 357, which has a five round mag. This is your three round gravity fed magazine clip, whatever you wanna call it, just drops right in. Now, what you will notice here is that you can't push a slug in from the top, and that's to prevent them from falling out when you do have them loaded in. So, loading this is really simple. You're just gonna take your slugs and stick them in right like so until you have three stacked up like that. And again, the nice thing is, I'm gonna dump them over here, you can't actually drop that out. So when it's in the gun, if you do flip it over, you're not gonna lose your rounds. That's a really nice, uh, easy feature, and I can tell you this works like a charm. I was a little skeptical of this at first. I wasn't sure if it would work so well, uh, but no feeding issues using it for our accuracy testing, all of our pre-testing as well, uh, and real nice and easy to just slip into the breech there. Dropping down from the breech, we do have our male quick disconnect fill fitting right here obviously everybody knows quick disconnect fittings all the rage way to go no fill probes makes it nice and easy to fill this gun up to that 3000 psi mark and you just replace the cover by pressing it in pretty easy to do there a little bit finicky to get off for what it's worth rubber butt pad at the back uh, other features here you have a 28 and a half inch rifle barrel uh, seems to be doing quite well in our pre-testing but i think it's time we head out to the range and go see what she's got All right, so accuracy at 45 yards. Obviously, the Bulldog in 357 does quite a good job out to these distances. Let's see how the 457 does. With the new Benjamin 279 grains, uh, an inch and an eighth, not bad. You know, certainly hunting friendly at that distance, uh, but by far better. Those Air Venturi 300 grainers are a stud 
5 8 inch that's like 0.6 inches uh, great grouping there at 45 yards this is going to probably do very well a little bit further out also uh, one thing i should say is we did not have the new benjamin 350 grainers at the time of our testing so we didn't have an opportunity to test those but we went through pretty much everything else that we currently offer in this 457 size and these were the two best so let's see what they do over the chronograph. We're also going to chronograph one of our heavier slugs, a 400 plus grain slug, to see what the max energy of this guy is. From a full 3000 PSI fill, the 279 grains and the 300 grain slugs, you're looking at about 364 to 366 foot pounds of energy. And just for kicks, we shot those 405 grain slugs as well. We're topping out at 415 foot pounds, well short of Benjamin's rating of 450 foot pounds but still plenty for medium and big game. There's no doubt about that. And I definitely agree that three shots is the absolute maximum you're gonna to wanna to do from a full fill with the Bulldog 457. Let's wrap up the Benjamin Bulldog 457, one that I'm really happy to see Benjamin and Crossman finally come to market with. Uh, it was time they did something bigger than the 357, and I think this fills that niche nicely. Uh, I'm not getting quite the 450 foot-pounds of energy that they're rating this gun for, uh, but for what's out there, those 300 grains shoot phenomenally well out to 50 yards, and you're going to get plenty of power. You're talking three good, solid shots that are going to be capable of taking game. This gun is a stud, uh, and one you definitely need to check out especially if you're in the market for a shorter big bore gun that is going to be much more size friendly if you're in a blind or a tree stand one i like a lot check out the benjamin bulldog 457 next time you're on pyramidair.com for the insider i'm tyler padner as always don't forget to like comment subscribe check us out on facebook and instagram as well and we'll see you at the next one